A 13 year old girl named Danielle appeared on the Dr. Phil show, called the audience a bunch of hoes, and coined her now famous catchphrase. She quickly became a viral sensation with the internet cashing her just about everywhere. She became a meme, she also became a song and dance craze. Dr. Phil's YouTube channel has cashed in, cashing more views than it ever cashed before. How about that? Danielle is returning to the Dr. Phil show, hopefully to get some much needed help. After all, she probably needs it. Before her first appearance on the show, she was a misbehaving 13 year old girl. Now she's a famous misbehaving behaving 13 year old girl with millions of people watching, scrutinizing and mocking her. And that's a lot of pressure for someone her age. Exactly. Actually, she's 13. But anyway, in this video, I want to take a look at the kind of help Danielle is getting from the good doctor and dare to ask if Dr. Phil is helping her or is he and his show further hurting the young girl? Is the Dr. Phil show turning into the Jerry Springer? This is Michael McCredden and I want to hear from you and your thoughts on all this in the comments down below. Now I don't fault Dr. Phil for trying to make money at what he does. That's the world we live in. And cash in while genuinely helping people, that's a great thing. He's paid for plenty of treatments for his guests and he seems like a nice guy. While watching him in action, I remember thinking to myself, this man is a genius. He's good at what he does. I have no doubt that Dr. Phil has helped tons of people throughout his career, both before and after he moved his practice to the small screen. First introduced to America on the Oprah Winfrey Show, helping real people with practical advice and life lessons. But throughout the years, the tone of his show has seemed to have gotten more and more sensational. Whoa, that was a big word for me. See what I mean? Dr. Phil is turning into Jerry Springer. Guests are shown in scandalous sizzle reels before they come on stage, there's a jeering audience, and the topics he covers seem to be chosen entirely based on what will get the most attention. Sure, Dr. Phil tries to educate the audience and gives sound moral advice, but so does Jerry Springer. The difference is that while Dr. Phil calls his show the most comprehensive forum for discussing mental health issues, Jerry is often obviously embarrassed about how trashy his show is. I mean, they even have slime as the decor. He doesn't pretend he's helping people by showing the world out of control teens or secret lesbian affairs. Here are some actual titles of videos from Dr. Phil's YouTube channel. Teacher describes sexual relationship with 15 year old. Teen admits to killing his 11 year old brother. Teen claims she's nine months pregnant with baby Jesus. My mom is faking cancer. Parents say they are convinced their seven year old will kill. Why are you doing this, good old Dr. Phil? I admit that clickbait titles are a fixture on YouTube. I try to make my titles as exciting as I can. Then again, I do not have a PhD in psychology. I don't sell self-help books. And my show is called Before They're Famous. Not Comprehensive Mental Health Forum with Dr. Mike. Of course, Dr. Phil may sensationalize his guests, but that doesn't mean he's not helping them. Once he gets them on stage, he gives them a safe environment to discuss their issues. I mean, it's not like he puts these vulnerable people on a show just to make fun of them. Or does he? Okay, I gotta admit that's a little funny. You can't blame a 66 year old medical professional for poking a little fun at a 13 year old who he's supposed to be helping in front of his live studio audience. We're all guilty of that. So forgive it. Especially since Dr. Phil is also able to analyze Danielle's complex issues and provide insight that only a top tier psychologist could. You doctor. A lot of people were probably looking at this 13 year old and thinking she was the antichrist. So if her psychological condition is not evilness, what does she have? Okay, so with her medical problem diagnosed, I assume Dr. Phil has given her the care she needs. Whenever the proper combination of therapy and drugs are the best possible treatment, forget them before they get me attitude. Let's take a quick peek at the progress she's made since she had appeared on the show. It's not pretty. Well, Dr. Phil, it looks like you've got your work cut out for you. Maybe you should put her in the Dr. Phil house or send her to Dr. Phil Beach Body Boot Camp. Both things, they actually are provided by Dr. Phil. I know. Maybe she could benefit from your son's teen focus series of self help books, your wife's wide ranging lifestyle brand, or your shape it up woo woo weight loss product. All right, you had to drop those after the FTC probe and lawsuit. But forget that, and forget the fact that the National Alliance on Mental Illness called your show unethical and irresponsible. After all, you helped Stephen Colbert sort out his problem with his friend's dog. So all is forgiven. Wrapping things up on a serious note, I do want to thank Dr. Phil. He had me on the show way back in the day to discuss the important psychological issues surrounding the Amy's Bakery episode on Kitchen Nightmares. I really don't know if I would have been able to build this channel if it were not for the exposure and the plug this show got in the form of a lower third saying, Michael creates online posts about Amy and Sammy. Thank you so much. Perhaps I'm just a little bitter because the Dr. Phil show never paid me. And then when I put a video up on it, they demonetized the clip. So that's probably all it is. 
Anyway guys, I wanna know what you think. Is Dr. Phil's show helping Danielle or is it further hurting her? Is his show turning into the Jerry Springer show? What do you think? Sound off down below and we'll see you guys in another video.